Hey guys, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. It's uh, Ryan here with DP Marketing Services and author on the book on digital marketing for plumbing and HVAC contractors. Hope you're doing well, staying safe, all those things. Thanks for uh, tuning in uh, for this video. Um, it's coming at you with the topic of something that uh, I, I know when I meet a lot of you somewhere uh, or I run into you at a conference or whatever. Um, there's there's some similar sort of sentiment and. Uh, sometimes misinformation with SEO and all things about SEO. So uh, I figured I'd just kind of come and do a little mini rant um, because, um, look, uh, I know you guys talk to, uh, well, maybe get talked to about SEO, you get people hitting your Facebook inbox and your, in, and your actually like email inbox and cold calling you. Everyone's trying to sell you stuff. You've probably done webinars or had SEO companies and whatnot. And so you probably heard a lot of crap over the years. Um, totally understand. Um, so I just want to talk through some of those and hopefully de-crap some of this for you. Um, so real quick, assuming you've been living under a rock or something, you don't know what SEO is. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. Uh, basically, it's the process to help something rank on a given search engine, right? So you can rank on Google. There's SEO for Google. There's SEO for Bing. There's SEO for YouTube. Uh, if you did Amazon, if you sold something on Amazon, there's SEO for Amazon. It's If there's a search engine, it's basically the things you do to help increase the ranking visibility, right? Um, so our focus primarily is Google. Um, so there are people who specialize in Bing or DuckDuckGo, whatever. Uh, our, our focus is Google. Um, everything else kind of just gets carryover benefit, but we just keep laser focus on all things Googs. Uh, here's here's a couple of things with Google um, that may or may not be new information for you, but just to go on the record and kind of get it out there um, so you can never say, no one's ever told me that before. Um, so here's the deal with SEO. Um, no matter if you're doing uh, YouTube or Bing or Amazon or Google, it doesn't matter, there are zero guarantees that the SEO work you do will come back to you, zero. Swallow that pill now. It doesn't mean it's not worth doing. It doesn't mean that everyone's like scam artist and like it has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the fact that anyone who does SEO doesn't work for one of those companies and those companies don't work for them. So nobody can actually make one of these third party companies do anything, right? It can't. Um, 10 years ago, you might be able to be like, hey, here's the five things you can do to always rank on Google. And you could probably be pretty close to right. More and more, with especially with Google, a lot of the responses can be, it depends. In fact, if you uh, if you ever like watch any sort of SEO chatter on like social media, you'll see kind of a running joke is, it depends. There's not always fast rules, right? So as an example, Backlinks, as you know, are part of the SEO factor. Backlinks we'll talk about later. I've got other videos on it. I'm not going to spend time. However, the instinct is go, I need as many backlinks as I can and as many backlinks as I can. And while there is some truth in there, Google is showing more and more that they would care about one really amazing backlink more than a thousand really crappy backlinks. So if you're focused on the myopic of I need more links, I need more links, I need more links, and you forget about the quality of those links, you might be spending a lot of effort doing things that don't really pay back to you. So it's important to understand that there's a lot of variables um, that have to be considered and weighed out, and you should always test it, right? So that's SEO isn't a, like a product. It's not like you push a button and get something. It's a process of refining and optimizing these sort of variables. So um, don't think that people are scamming you. Don't think that people are full of crap. Uh, they might be full of crap. Um, but there, there are zero guarantees on, hey, if we do this one backlink from this one website, what, we, what will happen? Um, and it's going to take some trial and error. What's the guarantee that if we change this word to this word, that things will happen? There's no guarantee. It's trial and error. Um, that's the nature of SEO. Um, it's trying to figure out that what is it actually it's going to work and move the needle. Um, so don't let anyone tell you that they can guarantee you page one or they'll promise you the moon or whatever. That's all, it's all bull crap. Um, even us, like we, I'm very proud of the team that we have here and that work on SEO. And sometimes we miss the mark. 
we work our tails off to not miss the mark, but sometimes it happens. Um, so even us, as, as proud as I am and as, as comfortable I am with our team, um, I would never say, hey, we promise you page one um, because we can't fulfill that promise. Um, so just know there's no guarantees. Understand that about your own approach on SEO. I'm not trying to scare you away from it. If anything, I'm just trying to say it's a different ball game and you just have to think differently about how SEO works. Um, uh, also, speaking of variables, understand that those specific variables are always changing. They're always changing. Um, Google tends to lead the pack, partly because of market share, partly because they want to, they're always trying to have the most helpful information to people possible. And so if they, the reason they change these rules is to keep people from gaming any particular rule that they have in place, right? So they're just trying to keep keep the, the game fair for everyone. Um, the, so what's true right now um, when I'm talking to you? Uh, might be completely old news in six months or completely old news in two years. Like it's just, it's always changing. So don't fall in love with any one approach or any one strategy because a thousand dollars on the table, I will guarantee you that the rules will change. Um, so don't, don't fall in love with any technique or any strategy or any approach because it will, it will cease in its effectiveness at some point in time. So try not to get focused on any one of those things. Um, it's also something else that a lot of guys are surprised by is that the competitive landscape, like the market that you're in, will influence the speed at which and the efficacy at which your SEO results will be noticeable, right? So as an example, uh, if you are in the middle of Dallas, Texas, if you guys don't know, Dallas, Fort Worth Metro is a massive town. Um, it's it's one of the biggest cities in the United States. It will be a very, very, very competitive spot to try to get on page one for the most important searches. If, however, you're in the panhandle of Texas, let's say a small town like Canadian, Texas, which most of you have never heard of before, yeah, it's going to be pretty dang easy to get on page one in Canadian. Um it doesn't mean that people doing SEO work in Dallas, Fort Worth don't know what they're doing. It just means how competitive a landscape is, is going to factor in. If everyone's fighting for the same things, you bet your butt it's going to be harder to move the needle. It doesn't mean it's not worth doing. It just means it's worth right-sizing your expectations. Fun, fun fact, I literally talked to a guy just a couple weeks ago. and He said, no one ever told me that the more competitive the market, it'd be harder. And I'm like, bro, that's going to be true with, with anything in life, right? If you're trying out for football, if there are better and more football players trying out for the team, the likelihood of you getting a spot just went down. If there are only three other people trying out for the team, it's a pretty good shot. It, the competitive landscape is always going to be true. I'm not... I've talked about it before about like, hey, how to measure the forces in your area. I, I'm not going to spend time there. But absolutely, the nature of your competition will come back to you. Um, another another thing that guys don't think about. Sorry, I'm kind of rambling a bit. I'm just kind of going on a mini. I don't have my coffee. You know, I need the coffee in my hand. And I don't have one. So I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands right now. So I'm just going to do this. <laughs> um, uh, another thing that's really surprising is uh, reputation. Um, over the past several Google algorithm updates, uh, they put more and more weight on the reputation of businesses. Um, that's true for Google local service ranking, Google local service ads rankings. That's true for MatPat rankings. That's true for organic rankings. Um, I can guarantee you this also: if you do crappy service for the customers and if you have one star reviews everywhere. Uh, I tell people all the time, there is no amount of black voodoo magic that we or anyone can do to make Google think that you're a good company to promote on page one. It's not going to happen. Um, so it's really important that you um, understand that there's so much work that we can do in our end, but at the end of the day, you have to do a good job at taking care of people. You have to. Your customers have to be able to go online and talk about you. You have to have the tools to make it easy for them to do. If you do good service, but Google never knows about it, you're missing the point. If you do crappy service and Google knows about it, we've got a problem. 
we have to make sure that the good work you do and the happy customers you have can tell the story for everyone else. Uh, Google sees that. It doesn't matter if it's Yelp or Facebook or BBB. I mean, there's hundreds of places. The one that matters most is Google. Again, I've done other videos on that, so I'm not gonna waste time here. But um, here's the deal. At SEO, it's not for somebody who's like used to a transaction like a vending machine. Hey, I paid a dollar, I expect a bag of chips. That's not how SEO works. It's not a transactional thing. If you want something like that, that would be AdWords or that would be Google local services where you pay per click or pay per lead, right? Pay and then you get the click or pay and you get the lead. That's totally transactional. That is not the nature of SEO. SEO is about generating over time organic leads for your business based on maximizing your visibility, okay? So it's not something you do today and you'll notice the benefits tomorrow. If you're in a really competitive space, like Google's time frame is four to 12 months before you notice that results. If you're in Canadian, Texas, it's not gonna be 12, it's probably gonna be in the shorter side of four. If you're in Dallas, Fort Worth, it's not gonna be four, it's probably gonna be in the longer side of 12. And the more competitive the market, like the longer it takes to get the additional benefits. The guys who've been doing it for years and years and years, they see it, right? They, they have optimization everywhere and any sort of flux has a huge impact. But if you're just starting or just trying to get into the game, uh, it's sometimes difficult to understand just how long of a road it is to walk down. But um, yeah, little mini rant slash rant over. I'll do my hand thing again. Um, so I'd, I'd like to hear from you because um, I know you're the one who gets bombarded or paid money or talk to all sorts of people about SEO and you see people talk about this and that. I'd like to hear from you. What do you think about there's no guarantees? What do you think about it's always changing? Do you feel kind of like everyone's saying one thing and they're doing another, like I'm sure it's frustrating. Um, I'm just like to hear from you, uh, your experience with SEO. Leave a comment below. Um, I love hearing from you. Uh, I use whatever you say to help think about more topics like this to address. Um, so leave a comment. Um, as always guys, follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, stay safe out there and uh, good seeing you. We'll see you next time.